Okay, so all this month we've been asking for your weirdest and ugliest and we don't know how to describe them holiday decorations. You definitely understood the assignment because some of the things you have sent in we can't unsee. And we're a little unsure why you continue to pull them out year after year and put them up. But you do, and that's you, that's cool. We'll just continue to show them off. All the worst, the ugliest, the weirdest, all of those that we've seen. This one, though, might be kind of the oddest, more uh, scary, I think. If you look at it, yeah, I know it's supposed to be like a cherub, but it kind of looks a little demented. Tony Boise says his wife Susie found this ornament at a thrift store a few years ago, and they call it the Silent Night of the Lambs. Are the lambs still crying, Clarice? Or how about this one from Dave Ashworth? He says this Santa was on top of a candy jar well, he got as a child in the 60s. He says it's tradition to bring it out every year, but he says his wife just finds it plain creepy, and she might be right on that one. A little less creepy, yeah, this one here, baby bottle turned into a reindeer. Lori Barbara made this, which now hangs on her tree. It's perfect red nose, isn't it? And along those same lines, Mike in Caldwell says this infamous tree topper was made by his father-in-law using upholstery scraps. He's since retired, but that top half topper remains on the tree because I guess the trash was too classy for that. I don't know. And finally, South Park fans may or may not recognize this questionable ornament. Anthony Post says one of his family's favorites was this slightly modified one uh, by their kids. Apparently it was supposed to be a snowman that was white when they bought it at a craft store. The kids got a hold of it though, and of course, in true Th South Park fashion, colored it brown with a marker and said, now, Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. That's what it is. Happy holidays to you, by the way. We're not finished with your weird and ugly decorations just yet. We still have another week to get through them. So keep sending them in, and we'll share more as we get through next week.